Okay, let's jump into this lab on static and default routes. To save time, I did go ahead and um, calculate some IP addresses over there. Enable and set IP addresses on the LAN interface of each router to be the last assignable IP of each subnet. So let's go into HQ. Okay. We are looking at fast Ethernet zero zero. We need IP address, last assignable IP is five two dot seven dot nine dot two oh six slash twenty eight, so it's two forty mask with sixteen IP addresses. 206, 255.255.255.240. We're going to no shut. And let's go over here to the BR router, the branch router. Get this in the middle of the screen so you can see it better. And I believe this is also fast Ethernet zero. Yep. IP address. This one is a slash twenty nine, so it's two forty eight mask with eight IPs, so it's a two fourteen. Five two dot seven dot nine dot two one four two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two four eight no shut all right and we will do serial interface enable serial interface on each router and set IP address on each interface so we're on the BR router now so interface serial 000 IP address last IP so 52.7.9.220 nope the last IP of that would be 222 255.255.255.252 and we also need to set encapsulation as HDLC and set the clock rate so on this side we need to do clock rate 64,000 encapsulation HDLC all right Let's go to the HQ router, do the same things over here, interface, serial, 000, IP address, 52.7.9, the first IP of 220, that's going to be 221, 255, 252. We don't have to set the clock rate or the encapsulation on this side. We do need to no shut that though. We also need to come over here and no shut that interface. And then for the other serial interface, zero one zero. Let's just no shut that so we don't forget. IP address. Last IP of seven seven dot seven dot seven dot two five two. IP address seven seven dot seven dot seven dot two five four Okay. We do also do not have to set the clock rate or the HDLC because it's being provided by the ISP router. All right, so we no shut that. 
Did the serial interfaces set the static route on the LAN of each router to host to let host one connect to host two? All right, so we need to exit out of here. IP route zero 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 zero. Well, that's the default route, so let's just do that while I've already got it typed in. They still want us to use the destination interface instead of the IP address, which is different. Serial zero zero zero. Actually, I did that wrong. Let's do a no IP route. Let's do it this way. I routed it to the wrong interface. No IP route to serial zero zero zero. We need IP route to serial zero one zero. It should have gotten us so it got rid of the one wrong one, put in the right. Default route. All right, so the static route is we need to route to this network over here, which is 52.7.9.208 to Oh, mask of 255.255.255.248 to serial 000. zero, zero. Alright, I did figure that out beforehand too. 208. Okay, let's go back over to the BR router. Exit out of here. IP route zero 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 oh pushing the wrong key IP route zero 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 to serial zero 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 all right and the last default route or the last static route is IP route a destination two forty two serial should be zero zero zero. Let's do a show run. All right, let's see if we can ping this host from here. Two dot seven dot nine dot two hundred. All right, let's try pinging from a host. Ping five two dot seven dot nine dot two hundred. Okay, let's try pinging the server. The online server, 72.76.5.3. Okay, we're also showing complete down here. That's it for this lab.